recorded in the via video it's all about Windows Workgroup and so on and there's a part inside it which, act which actually shows you how you could actually configure the IP addresses and so on so you might want to go to importlabs.blogspot.com click the Windows Workgroup um, button and link and you would just simply find um, a good video about Windows Workgroup it's around an hour, an hour more, an hour and a half I don't don't remember but it talks about uh, complete parts of Windows web group and also Windows IP uh, the IP configuration for um, systems and so on for machines okay so let's go back to client 3 this is the computer that we're going to create the bridge because it has two different connections and it has connected to do both networks so a couple of things before that you create a network first of all make sure that you're logged in as the administrator okay the administrator or at least one user that has the administrative rights and permissions okay the other thing make sure ICS and ICF are turned on what is ICS what is ICF right click on the local area connection properties advanced ICF internet connection firewall ICS internet connection sharing we talked about all of these in the Windows workgroup tutorial okay so make sure these are not checked click OK on both of the connections here as well I have to wait OK here as well on connection 2 as well advanced and it's not checked okay one other thing that you have to check is a group policy I'm sure that it's not set for you but you might want to check it just to make sure that you you're able to create the bridge connection go to start go to run type MMC here Microsoft Management Console and come here go to file go to add remove snap in go to group policy if it uh, go click the add button here and go to group policy click it click add and finally it would give it okay uh, make sure this local computer is written here click finish click close click OK and um, click this hierarchy here let me maximize this and go to computer configuration come on okay go to computer configuration go to um, if I'm yeah I think it was administrative templates yeah here it is go to administrative templates go to network and here you have an option network connections just click it it will bring up a couple of policies here click on standard please okay click on standard and as you see here there's a policy here which is written prohibit installation and configuration of network on your DNS domain make sure this state is at least not configured or disabled okay because if it's enabled you won't be able to um, create a network bridge and you won't, you're not going to either getting you won't be getting the option to create the network bridge so just make sure this is not configured because um, making it disabled will just uh, make any difference okay so just if you if it's enabled just double click on it here just change it to um, not configured and so on. Here's a, just a brief description about it, what it does and so on. Okay, um, determines whether a user can install and configure the network page and so on. You, should, you could just read it to see what it is. Close it. We don't want to save this. It's not important to save this. If you want to go back to it some someday, you could just save it. Okay. So let's go back to the My Network Places. Click Properties, and what we have to do here, we've got two connections. Simply just um, select both of them either just by doing this or clicking one of them holding down the control button clicking the other one however you do it and then simply right click on it and click bridge connections okay as soon as this bridge is going to be created okay a couple of things that you have to keep in mind this uh, while this is going to be created, let, created let's go back to our image that we had here okay so we've got this client number two, client number three, client number one. Now this is this is not there's not going to be any client three anymore. We're going to be having a bridge, okay? We're going to be having a bridge, and this bridge is not going to have is not going to be having two IP addresses anymore, okay? So this is going to be gone, and this is going to be gone. All right. It's going to be having one IP address, for example, 194. Oh God, 194. Um, 
33.20, for example. This is what we're going to assign it. Okay, it's going to have one IP address. Make sure the IP address that you're going to assign the bridge is actually um, consistent consistent with the IP addresses on your network. For example, here on my network, oh god, just give me a minute so I could write this down co correctly. Okay, 20. Okay, for example, on this network, we've got a network ID of 19422.5.33. Okay, so the bridge should have this ID with a different um, host ID so that um, our our IP address on our bridge computer um, doesn't make a duplicate with another IP address on our network okay so after we create the bridge these two IP addresses are gone there there are no more IP addresses such as 19422533.13 or either 17 we have to configure our bridge with a new IP address okay so one of the reasons that when um, you're going to bridge two networks to each other that you have to have similar network IDs is that so when these um, computers and two networks going to actually communicate with each, with each other they have to have similar network IDs so the connectivity should be possible for example if here you have 19422533 uh, for the network uh, for the network ID and here you have for example 1921.68 something else okay the connectivity won't be possible okay so make sure the IP addresses are completely consistent with each other and your this part which is the um, network ID part of your address is uh, completely the same and your IP addresses don't have duplicates on the network okay so let's go back to client 3 to see if it's um, enabled okay as you see here we've got a new icon this is supposed to be a bridge shows like a bridge and it's enabled okay let's go and check to see what kind of configuration we have run here